Number 26, what is the velocity of a 900 kilogram car initially moving at 30 meters per second uh, just after it hits a 150 kilogram deer initially running at 12 meters per second in the same direction? Assume the deer remains on the car. This is a lovely question to do, right? Um, so basically, first thing is you have to understand the nature of a question like this, meaning it's talking about a collision, okay? When you know or when you think a question is about a collision, you have to think about two things. Is it inelastic or elastic? And remember, an inelastic collision involves the two objects sticking together after the collision. An elastic collision involves the two objects not sticking together after the collision. Uh, the way this problem is framed, the deer remains on the car, and therefore it is an inelastic collision, okay? So there's a basic formula for inelastic collisions, all right? We can frame it this way, that the momentum of the first object before the collision plus the momentum of the second object before the collision will equal the momentum of the final object taking together, all right? So in other words, the mass of the first object multiplied by that velocity, or its velocity, plus the mass of the second object multiplied by its velocity, should equal then the mass of the first object plus the mass of the second object, okay, because this is really the total mass, multiplied by then that final velocity of the whole system, okay? So, you can, you know, instead of writing it like this, you can write it as just the total mass. It doesn't really matter to me. I've done it a couple of different ways. So you get, you know, a little different uh, perspective. You see which one you like and you run with that one. Um, so in, uh, in, this, uh, in this case, uh, basically what we need to do, again, it wants to know uh, what's the velocity, right, of the car. But remember, the velocity of the car okay, will be the same as the velocity of the deer after the collision. Why? Because they're both stuck together. Okay, so uh, now what I'm going to do is just solve this algebraically for the final velocity. So simply just divide out m1 plus m2, m1 plus, oops, m1 plus m2. Okay, and we have now a nice beautiful formula. We've seen this now a couple of times, right? m1 v1 plus m2 v2 all over m1 plus m2 will equal the final velocity, okay? I'm probably in future videos going to start maybe here, okay? Because I talked about it now for in, in, a, in a couple of videos. Um, so we should be pretty good with how to get to this point. Now all we have to do is just plug it in, right? So the mass of the car was 900 kilograms. Its velocity was 30 meters per second. The mass of the deer was 150 kilograms. And it said that the deer was running in the same direction as the car. Therefore, if I made the 30 meter per second positive, then the deer's velocity has to also be positive. Okay. And then divide that out by 900 plus 150. So here we get the final velocity then being, let's see, 900 times 30 plus 150 times 12, all divided by 900 plus 150 and we get a value of about 27.4. So 27.4, and that is meters per second. And let me just box that answer. All right, so guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. I look forward to helping you in the next question. Have a great day.